I'm Misty. Hi, I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Um, you can take a seat here. You get the beautiful rain behind you. It would uh, be a good view. <laughs> it would. It would be the Hollywood sign, everything. But. No. Ready, set, go! Yes. Jordan, I am so excited that you're here because you're gonna perform, I guess, sort of newish single. Kind of Give new. me your hand. Best song ever. Yeah. <laughs> In parentheses. <Yeah. laughs> Not um, the best song ever. Yeah, what does this song mean to you? It's about pretty much like, uh, like when you hear a song that you like, you know, like you have like having the best time in your life. You're just having like a great time, you know, you could be out doing whatever and you hear a song and it kind of sticks with you and you like it and then maybe like a year down the road you'll hear that song again and it'll kind of like take you back to where you were like maybe at like a certain point in your life. It's kind of like... A hold of memory. Yeah, exactly. And it's nostalgic and honestly that triggers so much for me because that's when it comes down to it the only reason I like a song in the end. Yeah. Like if, if a song can take me back to the first time I heard it or a really special time like at prom back in the day when I heard Britney Spears Toxic and you know, it yeah. brings back that feeling of prom or whatever, like that's the best ever. Yeah, exactly. That's what I wanted to be kind of, I just wanted to kind of like embody that whole <laughs> whole feeling. Yeah, um, and you're planning a new album, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. But you have you given people details yet? Not really, I've, I'm, I've been like really vague about it, but I'm, so I'm- secretive. I'm really secretive, very sneaky. Yeah. Um, I'm finishing it uh, right after this tour in May. Okay. So it'll be um, completely done. It's like home stretch. 99% finished right now. Feels so. good. Feels okay. great. So you haven't told us the title yet? I don't have a title yet. I've been thinking about what? it. What? I've been like writing down like little memos in my phone, trying okay. to like come up with what I want it to be. Make but sure someone doesn't steal your phone. I know. Someone's going to steal all my album titles. And they're just going to release all this dirt about all your new album. Information. Yeah, you should call it Hawaiian Studs. Oh. Hawaiian Party on the cloudiest day in Hollywood. Yeah. We're turning out the best song ever. Best song ever. Is there anything that will surprise people off the album, you think? Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit more, I, I think I'm going to try to make it a little bit more, like, organic in terms of the production and stuff. A little bit less, actually a little bit less, like, dancey, a little less, like, really? bending hand type stuff, actually. Yeah, it's going to be a little more, okay. I don't know, it's kind of all over the place. I can never decide. I always <laughs> say I want to do one thing and then, like, I'm going to end up having a bunch of dance songs on it, of course, since I'm saying I'm not. But yeah, you yeah. just want to trick us. I know, I have so many songs, I have like 60 right now, just like sitting there. How do you get ready for a show on tour? It depends. Yeah. Every night's different. Sometimes it's nice to go somewhere else for a long time, like maybe like stay at like the hotel for a long time and then show up at the very last minute so you have like adrenaline like oh we might be late it's gonna be hectic <laughs> so that way you're like kind of anxious. Without actually being late. All right guys go watch the Ready Set Perform. Give me your hand right now. And every time you hear it you'll remember this night again again and again so give me your hand because I'm ready and I'm able and I'm thinking I can make you finally want to let go and then they took you my effect to take the speakers at the 10 and 11 till we break the windows 